Have you ever had a situation where you tried to open an MKV file in Premiere Pro and instead of opening it, you got an error message? That's because Premiere Pro won't recognize and open MKV file extensions. So the easiest and quickest thing to do is to convert it to an MP4 using VLC Media Player. Step one is to download and install VLC Media Player. Step two is to open VLC Media Player and then click on Media, Convert and Save, Add, Browse to the video you want to convert, click Open, click Convert and Save. This will bring up the conversion window and this is where all the magic happens. You could just click this little drop down and select from any one of the presets. Unfortunately, none of these really do what we want it to do. Almost all of these will probably by default do a re-encode instead of remux. And what we want to do is what's called a remux, which is just change the container from MKV to MP4, but keep everything inside the same. Inside this file, we have, and I can show you real quick, we launch it, which is just a sample screen capture of me playing solitaire. If I go ahead and pause it and then right click and click properties, you'll see that the video is H.264 and the audio is AAC. Well, if I left this on one of these defaults, these pre-made selections, it'll keep the H.264, but it'll want to re-encode the AAC to MP3. We don't want that. We want to keep everything the same. We want to keep the H.264 and we want to keep the AAC. Click on Create New Profile. And here we can specify our new container. We're going to use MP4. Then the real key is under Video Codec and Audio Codec. Click Video and then click Keep Original Video Track. That's because if you don't, and for whatever reason left that, then as you saw in the properties, it would want to convert the MP4 into MPEG-1. That'll do a re-encode. We want to keep original video. Then under audio codec, same thing. Check the audio and then check keep original audio. Because you can see the default, it would want to convert the AAC to MPEG or FLAC, Vorbis, MP3. So we want to keep original audio track as well. The key to this screen is audio codec, audio, keep original audio, video codec, video, keep original video, encapsulation, MP4. Go ahead and name it. I named mine MKV2 MP4. Then click create and now it'll create your own custom preset. Click the down arrow for profile, go to the bottom and there's our new preset MKV to MP4. Specify your destination. This is the same folder where our source file is. Backspace or just type. And we're going to name ours convert video. Click save. Now everything is set up. Click start and it will be done in literally seconds. We'll close this. As you can see it's sample video MKV. The one we tried to drag in didn't work. Start is done. It's, it's virtually instantaneous because it doesn't have to do any encoding. Go ahead and close VLC media player. Don't need it anymore. Now we have our convert video MP4, but now we can drag it into Premiere Pro and it works fine. Jump a little bit into the timeline, hit play. You'll hear me playing, set an in, jump a little more, hit the out, maybe do it again, make it a little longer, hit stop, and now we can drag the clip down to the timeline. 
And there you go. It's just that simple. The only thing you may do, which if you notice here, these look a little low, is you might need to right click, go to audio gain, and click normalize to a peak of negative three, which is the optimal setting. And as you can see, it made them taller, so it'll be louder without the clipping you would experience if it went above zero. Go ahead and play this. And it seems loud because my volume is at 100%. When I edit, I normally drop that down to 30, so it's more representative of if I have this full and this is on YouTube or something like that. Those are the steps. Media Player Classic, convert, add your file, convert, and then this is the magic. Create a new custom convert profile, MKV to MP4, where you can set video codec, keep original, audio codec, keep original, encapsulation MP4, and that's it. You're done. I hope this helps anyone who had a similar problem trying to open and edit an MKV file in Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching the video. Step 3 Profit